This is the 2024 Harley Davidson Street Bob 114. And today we're gonna to give it our first impressions. So first things first, the looks, I love this blue color and the styling of this bike. I'm not usually a fan of, but in this case, I really do like it. This will be my first Harley that I've ever ridden. So hopefully it rides as good as it looks. The seat looks very comfortable. The handlebars look a little high. We'll see how it feels. Simple dash, simple controls, large foot levers, single disc brake in the front. That's interesting. You obviously have a single disc in the rear and it is belt driven. The levers look thick and they flare out. We'll see how I like that. I typically don't like when they're thick. Simple headlight in the front and the mirrors look like they're reasonable. All right, let's give this thing a ride. First thing I noticed right away is the kickstand is out in front of the left foot peg. Um, so lifting the kickstand, you have to hit the, uh, you have to hit the foot peg to get it. Um, another thing I noticed when coming to a stop, you cannot put your feet straight out or else you're gonna hit the foot peg. Second thing I've noticed is the blinkers. You have one button on the left and one button on the right for your blinkers. Very small dash so far. You have that classic Harley sound. So far, it doesn't feel as good as I was hoping for. It feels okay. It feels okay. Um, on a scale of 100, 0 to 100 on my expectations, I was hoping for 100. But it feels about a 70. You know, it feels fine. The foot pegs would definitely take some time for me to get used to. You have to put your feet straight down. The blinkers would uh, take some time for some people to get used to as well sitting at the stoplight holding in the clutch the thickness of that clutch lever does start to set in I'll give it to Harley here. The torque is available from first gear to fifth gear so far. I haven't touched sixth gear, but as soon as you flick your wrist, that torque is immediate. I'll definitely give that to them. The downshifting, very good. I like the downshifting a lot. The upshifting, uh, nothing noticeable. The handlebars being up this high, um, they're basically straight from my body. They're not going up at all. It's not that bad. I was expecting the handlebars to be a little bit more uncomfortable. Kind of reminds me of the um, Indian Sport Chief that I just reviewed. Probably my biggest complaint of the ride so far is the foot pegs. The foot pegs are a little too close to me and a little bit too high for me. So my hips are starting to cramp up for about seven minutes into the test ride. Vibration, you always hear about Harleys being super vibrating. I'm in sixth gear going 58 and 60 miles an hour and there's no vibration in the handlebars. There's a little bit in the foot pegs. You have a little bit when you're getting up there but it's a lot more manageable than I was expecting. Big shout out to Roughneck Harley Davidson in Longview, Texas for the demo rides. It was a great day. All right, just finished the test ride of the 2024 Harley Davidson Street Bob 114. And this bike surprised me in some ways and disappointed me in others. So surprises. Um, it had a lot of torque, much more torque, and it was constant between first and fifth gear. So that was really nice 
uh, some disappointments would be the sound. It didn't sound like I was expecting a Harley to sound, this being my first Harley that I've ever ridden. Um, it didn't have that sound I was expecting. Another disappointing thing is the foot pegs. They are too close and too high for me on six foot four. And I did get a little bit cramped on this bike. The seat was a little bit too close as well. So if this could move back a little bit, that could move just a touch forward and down. This would be much more comfortable for someone my size. Another surprise that wasn't necessarily good or bad would be the blinkers. You have one blinker on the right, one blinker on the left for each direction. That was never seen this before on any bike. Um, the dash. I basically didn't use the dash at all. Sometimes I would glance at my speed and most of the time I was just riding and I felt like I was going the right speed. So it felt more of a raw ride, like you're not so many bells and whistles on this, which wasn't bad. Um, overall, I would say it met my expectations because it exceeded some things that I wasn't expecting and then it didn't meet my expectations on others, but average out probably meets my expectations. Don't know the price on this right away. It's probably around fifteen, sixteen thousand dollars $16,000. And I just rode the Indian Scout 1250-101, brand new, hyped up Scout. Um, this reminds me more of the Sport Chief, and I rode that as well. It's a toss-up, but right? I mean, hard to say which one's better. Would I buy this? Unfortunately, I wouldn't buy this because it didn't feel and sound the way I thought it was going to. But I love the looks. Rapping when they own me to sing, I still they call. They all want an album, so I gave them 20 singles. Yeah, I'm trying to get a hit, that's why I swear.